Thrift. Hello, I am Dufat Patel. I am Jorge Fires of Fire. Hi, Ding. Today, I, am I want you to know about what TV season is coming right around the corner, and no hunter should be alone without another man. Hey. Hello, I am Dufat Patel. And I am Jorge Fuentes. How are you doing? Today, I want to talk about bad air. You don't want bad air. You want good, clean air. Fabrice, yum, that's fresh. Use it on your turban. Oh, no! On your stinky hat. And even in the camera. Fabrice, you can find it at any local store ever. Hello, I'm your Papa Tell. And I am Harry Fuentes. How are you doing? Bye, Ricky Bobby. Unrated and uncut on DVD. I'll buy it. It's 1999 at Shopper's Food Warehouse. It's a lot better than this commercial. If you don't watch this movie, then fuck you. you. Hello, I'm the Burp Patel. And I'm Jorge Fuentes. Are you doing? You must snap into a slim gym. It's the good stuff. There's nothing better than processed meat. Eat a slim gym. Oh, 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 oh. Bad. Try one. Sit down, sit down. Petco! Release the beast! We have a sale on... Come on up. Yes, come on up. You took it. Furt! Buy a furt. This is a very furt of furt. Ah! I'm the furt Patel. Nine point furnace. Are you doing? Make sure you try armor all in these three fragrances. Beautiful fragrances. Armor all. The wipe of champions. Hello, I am Jafar Patel. And I am Harry Furness. Are you doing? This is Hanged, the underwear of champions. It is the best underwear because it is stretchy and... Good. Uh, it's so good. It is very oh, durable and only the champions use it. <laughs> like me. Hello, I'm the Bart Patel. I'm Jorge Fuentes. How are you doing? Fritos. So good, I ate them all. Okay, we can't not do that. I don't know anything about American TV. Alright. Okay, that's right. Hello, I'm the Bart Patel. And I am Jorge Fuentes. How are you doing? Oh, Zoinks, Scooby. We must go raid the fridge! <laughs> Scooby snacks. Hello, I'm the Papa Del. And I'm Harry Fuentes. How you doing? Dirty rag. From Dave's Dirty Rags. I always keep one in my pants whenever I'm painting, or cleaning a car, or doing stuff. You don't want to know where I keep my dirty rag. Let me have that back, my man. I keep my dirty rag. Thrift! Stand thrifty saw. Almost as thrifty as me. Hello, I'm Jeff Ford Patel. And I'm Jorge Fuentes. This is a public service announcement about weapons. Knives, chair legs, hammers, this average man's hand, and this loaded pistol thing. And a knife. And a knife. All right, let's demonstrate safety with this knife. When you carry a knife, you always want to carry it pointing toward your head. So that if you fall, you won't hit your foot. You won't hit your foot. Chair leg with the screw in it. You always want to carry it like this. So if you fall, you will hit the nearest person to you. And not yourself. The hammer. Whenever you are like walking with a hammer or hammer and you want to hit and Swing as far back as you can so any person that is trying to assault you will go boom and get hit. And the fist. When you're walking with your fist, make sure you put some car keys or a knife in between your hands and give people fist bumps regularly. Oh, the smaller knife. Make sure that when you are walking, like at night, you always carry it like this pointing out so that when you walk, you know, you, you like stab people. All right. Now I'm going to show you weapons safety. Get this thing.
Hello, I'm the Fat Patel. I am Jorge Buenas. Already. Football season is right around the corner. Use these safety tips to help you be even safer. Always wear a helmet. It protects you from balls. Other players. Oh! And in rare conditions, firearms. I am okay because I am wearing a helmet. Kids, wear helmets. Hello, this is Jafar. And I am Jorge Fuentes. How are you doing? Today, I want to talk about being a champion at baseball. Here's some simple, simple tips to help you win the World Series. First, if you see a player who, uh, who is a little bit better than you, step on his foot with your cleat. Remember, you're wearing spikes. Second, if you notice a bigger player at the plate who hits home runs, hit him in the head and hope it's a concussion. Third, if you, if you get hit by the pitch and he says it's an accident, charge the mound and show no mercy. Remember, drugs are not good, but if you're gonna do them, do steroids. They make you hit home runs. <laughs>